Hello everybody, E here. This is my first video back since my mother passed away on Tuesday. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to upload this video, but I need to get back on the horse. Um, I'm putting this at the beginning of this video because I want to ask you guys a favor. Um, most of you have expressed your, well I don't know about most of you, but many of you hundreds of you have expressed your uh, sincere condolences, given me your prayers, your thoughts, your positive vibes, and I appreciate you. I love you. But this comment section, I, I don't feel like I am prepared for a whole other thread of condolences. If you want to express your condolences, I have posts on Twitter. I have a post up on the community channel here on YouTube. Please put those posts there. I would much rather, and my, I promise you, my mother would much rather that we carry on. So, because of that, I'm going to start with something positive, something that I have been waiting on forever. Let's get to the drop. Hello, everybody. Hey, here. I got a package. So, it finally came, and we're going to get into it. We're going to do this, finally. We're going to break out the table. Afterwards, you, you see the title down there, you know what this is, so I am going to do my best to talk about this book uh, and not break up. You guys probably watched the intro, you understand why, but this book is about the fleeting nature of life. It is about um, a, a long life going by very, very quickly. It is in my top five of Stephen King's work. Oh, wow. Like I said, you already know what it is. You, you read the title. Okay. <laughs> Revival by Stephen King. Um, this is from Letterhead Press, I believe. I'm going to get this plastic off of it, and then you guys will be able to look at the book. Um right right here and then we're going to go over to the table like I've done with all the rest of the stuff gotta be super careful with this stuff so if I'm not looking at the camera that's why I don't want to cut up the book but uh alright so I'm taking this take the plastic off look this is the oh uh, I love that it looks like a bible especially given its contents that's a ooh alright so I don't think it's much bigger than the actual trade... Where are you? There you are. No, actually, it's a, it's actually smaller. But, I mean, it's it's like Bible size. It's a, just a little bit smaller. I think it's supposed to be about the same size. But I think the boards are bigger on the, the first edition uh, trade hardcover. So, this is the front of the book. We went into the book. Sorry. This is the front of the book. I'm guessing that's... Uh, that's, uh, what, Charlie Jacobs? Is that his name? I know the main character's name is Jamie. I remember that. Uh, and then here's the back. This feels really good. It feels really nice. Nice. I can't talk. Um, and there, it looks like there is either a lot of pictures or a lot of chapter sections. So we are going to go through this. We're going to, wow, that's a, yeah, that's a lot of work. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get to the table. All right, so here we are at the table. I got the book. Let's see here. Let me get this straightened up. I had it ready to go. Uh, one of the cool things about this is just like a Bible, it has the uh, string in it, the place marker, bookmark, whatever you want to call it. Nice uh, satin ribbon. Beautiful. Alright, I'll put that down. Straighten it up. As we open it, it's got wonderful end papers. As you can see. Hands and lightning. And uh, before we go any farther, I just want to let you know that there will be spoilers in these pictures. I will be talking about spoilers. So if you haven't read Stephen King's Revival, what is wrong with you? Go ahead and go do that. Stop this video right now. Go do that. So, this is the signature page. It has Bev... No. Not Bev. Yeah, it does have Bev Vincent. I don't know why I started at the bottom. But uh, it had Josh Boone, Vincent Chong, Francois Valencourt. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, then uh, I apologize. And then Bev Vincent. This special edition of Revival is limited to 1,500 signed copies. Title page. Title card. Who's a fan of dead meat? Leave your comment down in the doobly-doo. That. The dedication page. And pretty much everything else is going to be the same, so let's go through here and get to the pictures. <laughs> All right, here's a very cool image of a church being struck by lightning. And I've already stressed the spine, so those of you worried about that, not stretched, stressed. The way you're supposed to uh, read a hardcover, you're supposed to open it up kind of like a bird and just let it flop a little bit. This is when Charlie Jacobs' son dies. The son and his wife. I think that might, I'm not sure if that's the son or the wife. But, uh, yeah, it happens in a car accident. And then, one of my favorite pictures in here is from the chapter including the terrible sermon. It's just Jacob's in an empty church. Or it's seemingly empty. Which is, I think, a great image. With a lot of heavy metaphor there. make sure some of these pages look like this and they're dark so I'm having to go through and make sure I don't pass up any chapter well any pictures thinking they're chapters this is a scene I don't actually remember uh, as a rod being struck by lightning okay oh yeah and there we have Another reason why I like this book so much, it deals with drug addiction. This is Jamie and his heroin addiction. Fantastic, fantastic picture. Fantastic piece of art. I'd love to have that up on my wall. Shell might not like it, but I'd love to have it. This is cool. It's got uh, him wearing headphones and the electricity going through them. There's Jamie playing his guitar. What was the name of his band? Chrome Roses? Something like that? I need to reread this soon. Especially after my mom's passing. Um, she never got to read this book. She kind of gave up on King. after She, she thought he, he was a dirty old man after reading Bag of Bones. So she stopped after that one, unfortunately. There's the uh, tent revival. There's a revival that the... the uh, the title of this novel, there's several different ways it can be taken, which is one of my favorite parts about it. I love uh, titles with different, many different meanings. Then you have that. Yeah, that's lightning. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was powder there for a second. I'm looking at the viewfinder, and uh, I thought it was powder. Just look at the picture, dingus. Anyways, so. Uh, this is at the uh, Tent Revival. On a bridge. That is an amazing picture. We're getting some screen glare. That truly is a fantastic, fantastically colored picture. For some odd reason it reminds me of the Dark Tower. Probably because of the Grant reissue hardcovers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is very ominous. Man, that's amazing. I like that. I'd like to have that up on the wall, too. Again, Shell probably wouldn't, but I sure as hell would. Hold up. Did I miss it? No, I didn't miss anything. The Dying Woman. If, you, uh, if you've read the book, this is a very, very important picture. Oh yes, the door, all the trees, the limbs and roots and everything growing over it. Again, I'm getting some hardcore Dark Tower vibes. I'm so, 
so bad at keeping these things square. In frame. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, yes. And this one, man. This, this is my... The ending of this book is one of my favorite Stephen King endings of all time. It, it just left me... It knocked the breath out of me. And if you see... There's like ant legs. Sorry to flip you all off. There's ant legs coming out of the the mouth. It's gnarly. And don't those teeth look familiar? Don't those teeth look familiar? Don't those teeth look familiar? I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't. I don't. I don't know that any of the any of this stuff. To, if he meant any of this stuff to tie into other books, I mean, some of it feels like it does. Like Pet Cemetery. Oh. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We got ourselves a big picture. And this is a huge spoiler for the actual... Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to go down. This is a huge spoiler for the end of the book. The desolated hellscape. Wow. That's amazing. What else we got here? Uh, Stephen King, the Rolling Stone interview. I wonder if that's the one where he uh, he called it the uh, one of the darkest books he's ever written. I will go through it when I reread it. I'll be rereading this edition. It was cheap enough that I don't mind reading it. That is amazing. So you have all these colors here. That's obviously Dark Tower. Then this thing... <laughs> feels very mid-world, too. So, I don't know, man. Thursday Theorist needs to return, doesn't it? I think it does. But that is the book. This is the final page. Looks like a concept art of the page we just saw. Add something behind bed. I don't know. <laughs> uh... It says, paper ceases, it looks like it says, cremating from star kids, I don't think that's what it says, and then we have the beautiful end papers again, um, I want to give, if I do not, I will flash it up on the screen if I cannot find this, I know Francois Valancourt is the artist, but is Josh Boone and Vincent Chong also the artists? I'm not sure if it says in here. Let me check the copyright page. Here we go. Revival concept art is by uh, Vincent Chong. Uh, a nasty, dark piece of work. Revival historical context was written by Bev Vincent. Um, All the little ants were marching. Is written by Josh Boone. Yeah, that's probably all the. Yeah, that's all that. Um, Josh Boone wrote All the Little Ants Are Marching. That's the introduction. Sorry. That's the introduction. Then the book from page 15 to 501. And then Bev Vincent wrote, wrote A Nasty Dark Piece of Work. That's that's actually a King quote. A Nasty Dark Piece of Work. He said much the same thing about Pet Cemetery. Um, he said he didn't know why anyone would want, to, would want to read something like that. And then the Stephen King, The Rolling Stone interview, The Horror Master Looks Back on His Four Decade Career by Andy Green, and then Revival Concept Art by Vincent Chong. So that is the absolutely amazing Revival Limited Edition from Letterhead Press. I am going to find my favorite picture in here, and that is where I am going to put this. So my favorite picture in here is of Jacobs in a church alone with the stained glass hitting him like that. It's a fantastic piece of art. Um, personally, I do like the, I would put on my wall, I wouldn't put this on my wall. Too much religious iconography for me. But, uh, I would put the, the heroine, the, the arm with the shooting up, I'd put that on my wall, and the one of the creepy looking Charlie Jacobs. So that's everything. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I had, I'm not sure I had fun doing this, but I know it's going to help me have something to look at 
um, to kind of take my mind off of it. I think I'll start rereading it tonight, actually. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King unboxing, limited edition. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.